Hi, in this video we're going to be going over Building Java Programs Edition 4, Chapter 7, which is on Arrays, Self-Check 7, Array Bugs. So here they are giving us a piece of code already, and there's something wrong with it. What we want it to produce is this, first equals 3, 7, sec equals sec, second equals 3, 7, they contain the same elements. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on here. Let me try to scroll both of them in here at the same time. Okay, so we set up a new array first, called first, and it has two elements. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a comment here. So first is equal to the array 0, 0. Okay, that's the way we show there are two elements. They're actually indexed as 0 and 1. Now, after these two statements, first is now equal to the zero, zero with element is equal to three. First element, well, the, it's kind of not really the first. Element one is, is uh, seven. Okay, element zero is three, element one is seven. Okay, we've got a similar thing here going here. And this is going to end up with second is equal to the array. The zero with element is three. So, uh, the, the second <laughs> element number one is seven gets confusing doesn't it okay so both these arrays look like they're the same now okay so now let's see what happens so we print out the first we print out the second okay so let's see if the elements are the same so if first equals second they should print out they contain the same elements and if not they should print that the elements are different so they seem to have the same they should have the same value right so let's see what happens when we run this Okay, and so here, let's take a look. Your output that gave this gobbledygook here, okay, and this gobbledygook here. Um, and it says the elements are different. So that we've got really two problems. One is that the printing didn't work, and two, it, it didn't compare the same. So let's figure out what the problem is here. First, let's deal with this printing here. So what does this here mean? Okay, this is actually a hexadecimal number. And if you look back, think back to chapter one, I think we learned about binary numbers, which are base one. These are hexadecimal numbers, base 16. They go from zero to F. This is a memory address. Okay, this is a memory address. And I can, can only guess that maybe that I means an integer array at this memory address. So when you are in Java and you just print out a variable that's an array, it's going to give you the memory address of that array, which is not a very useful thing. But fortunately, there is a way to be able to print pretty uh, this this um, array in a pretty fashion. Okay, and in chapter seven, uh, you'll see. Let me see which section that's. I've pulled up an online uh, version of Building Java Programs 4th Edition. And if you take a look at my week one videos, you can find out how you can get a hold of this. Um, it does cost money, but you can you can get it uh, for quite a reasonable price. So in chapter 7.1, uh, there's this table here of, what we, of, of methods of the arrays class. So it's a little bit confusing. So there's actually a class named arrays. In addition to being able to create arrays of all different classes so again it's confusing so but but let's go ahead and just just use it so what we can do is we can do arrays dot to string of first okay and um, again arrays is the name of the class to string is the method so we're gonna pass an array into the to string method so now let's try running Okay, so now it's actually printing out the right thing here. Okay, so that's fine. And now we have to figure out why are first and second not equal, right? They become, become different elements. Well, that actually has to, get, has to do with the, the problem we just fixed. Um, let me see if I can actually just quickly undo it. I think I can. We're going to submit. All right, so remember back here where it actually showed you the memory address? So these two arrays, even though they contain the same values, are actually two different pieces of computer memory. So they were constructed separately here. 
And when you do equals equals, what it does is it actually checks the memory addresses. So it checks, does this memory address equal that memory address? And the answer is no. Now, let's try, um, let's try this here. Let's try int array third equals second. And let me do um, we'll place first with third, first with third. Let's try running that. Okay, so now first, actually first and third, okay, are actually the same memory address. And they do actually print, they contain the same elements, okay? And um, it, this test failed just because it's printing the wrong things. But this, um, this shows you, so when I did this, I didn't actually, here, I didn't create a new array in memory. What I did is I just simply pointed at this array that we had already created, okay? And then these equals equals works. Okay, but let's, let's undo all of that. And let's go back to doing strings, oh, sorry, arrays dot to string. Same thing here. All right, now, instead of doing this, we can do something else. And let me switch back to the building Java programs book for that same table, that same table has other methods here. Copy of, copy of range equals fill sort and two string. So the one that we want here is equals, okay? Dot equals. Equals is a method on uh, two arrays. So what we can do is go back here instead of equals equals. We can do arrays dot equals first second. Okay, remember this is very similar to how we did strings dot equal. Okay. Okay, so now it works. Um, one of the themes that I try to teach my students when I introduce arrays is that arrays kind of break the rules on everything. And I'm going to show you another way that arrays break the rules. So you remember from strings, if we had two strings, first and second, we could do, uh, we could do something like this. We could do first dot equals second. Okay, we could do that. Uh, so the question is, can we do that here? And the answer is no. So I'm not going to go into why this doesn't work other than to say that it doesn't work, okay? Because it, it, it would have to go into the discussion about how objects work in the first place. So it just remember again that this is different than strings, okay? You can't do this um, array dot equals second array like you would a string dot equals second string. So you're going to need to use arrays dot equals and that is going to actually walk down the list and compare each element to see if they're equals. All right, so what did, what did we learn in here? Um, so this is this problem of teaching is mainly about equality, but also using the arrays.toString method. So it's mainly, a, it's a lot about the arrays class, okay? And so the arrays class has these methods that I showed you um, in let me get to the right window here building java programs so there's you can get a copy of an array you can test if the array is equal you can fill an array you can sort an array you can get a string representation of an array so those are the things that are the arrays class gives you um, and you'll be we'll be learning about more classes like this later in um, 143 um, so it's kind of a utilities class all right and one of the things they give you is dot equals, and another thing they give you is dot to string. Okay, so whenever you want to deal with these arrays, um, the, well, really the, the most comfortable way to deal with the arrays is going to be to use this here. If you try to just print out 
an array or use equals equals on an array, it's not going to do what you uh, thought you would do. So if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. I have a complete curriculum teaching Building Java Programs Edition 4, and I, got, I have a lot of these practice it problems for you. So please like and subscribe.